This week on Project Realness, Weality, we have Tiffany Jackson. Tiffany Jackson, Miss Jackson from Indiana. Indiana, also from Quad Cities. Quad Cities, Iowa, represent. Okay, mm -hmm. Tiffany, as the, the mother of a very successful military man, but still an African American or black man. How does your conversation change when you talk to him about what you feel that he can do, how he can be safe, and what he can wear, given the Trayvon Martin, Eric Garner, and Michael Brown race or police situation in America, Ben's though your son is relatively young? To be very honest, anything my son wears is a reflection of me. So I don't believe in saggy pants, hoodies, none of that crap. To me, that's garbage. He is well too educated and has gone too far in life to be dressing like he's a nobody. He is a somebody he needs to dress and act that way. When he was raised, he wasn't raised to be black, white, or anything else. Since he is biracial, he was raised to be a human being and treat up people the way that he wants to be treated. Not because of the way you dress. Now, for me, that means I want him dressed very nicely and that's what he does. Um, I don't have a conflict with how someone dresses, but I also feel deep in my heart is if you took care in a little bit of time and dressed a little bit better, people would have a better perception of you. We work too hard and too long to get what we are for you to throw on a pair of sweats and a pair of um, gym shoes and a hoodie and call it a day. People need to take more pride in themselves in what they do and how they do it instead of trying to be part of something. They need to be part of the real world and the real life instead of gang banging, saggy jeans, and trying to get poked in the butt. Because I can't really see nothing else going on except for that. Um, my child wears a belt. He has shoes on. And the last time I checked, he can spell his own name. So I am very proud of him. Thank you.